Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the man. She's always got another run play scheme for you guys today. Today I'm in the Baltimore Ravens playbook, which is probably my favorite playbook right now in Madden 22. There's two formations that I'm really in love with, one of which you guys probably will know. If you watch my channel long enough, you probably remember me putting out plays out of this formation. The formation itself is the pistol weak. I've put out plays from this in multiple years. You can see right here, if we go down the, the scheme here, you can see the two main plays if you just stare at the averages. The halfback zone week, I've run 17 times so far this year, and I've averaged about almost 10 yards of carry. And then the triple option, same thing, almost 10 yards of carry. So that might be the title of the video right there. Average 10 plus of carry with these two runs, uh, because to me, it's one of the most consistent overpowered run schemes in the game. Now, there's a couple things you have to do to make this a little bit better. Number one, you can hit the right stick over a couple times until you get it's a dual halfback. That's going to be you know, a way of putting in two uh, running backs. I think that that's one of the better ways to go. Me personally, I like to just substitute them manually because I typically want a certain type of player at the fullback spot to a certain type of player at the running back spot. I probably want my fastest running back um, where where you know the fullback is. That's, that's the play that I'm going to have to try to take wide a lot of times. So without a doubt, in my opinion, I want to remove the fullback, put my fastest running back at the fullback spot, which is going to be J.K. Dobbins. That's going to be the most important. The other spot, pretty much just want to have your second best running back or you know a good power back if you have two speed backs that's ideal but this team doesn't necessarily have that so that's going to be the setup as far as the substitutions i'm going to go ahead and put both of these plays into my audibles because that's always important so i'm gonna hit the left trigger i already have them all set up at the halfback zone week at the top spot second spot triple option slip screen they also have the f lead read option these will probably be the plays that i show and the reads that i show you guys how to make uh, because they're all basically run plays i'm also going to have some pass plays at the end of this video and i'm going to have a lot of pass plays on my patreon on my join out community tab so if you're a member there i appreciate it you guys will be able to check out a full scheme there if you're not a member there you can always check it out or hit the like button let me know in the comment section maybe i'll put out the full scheme at a later date on the youtube channel so that's pretty much it let's go and let's pick the halfback zone week uh, and then on the defensive side we're just going to go random three four before i do i just wanted to say i just passed a milestone that i wanted to share with you guys because i wanted to say thank you guys and i appreciate you guys i just passed a million hours of watch time which kind of blows my mind. I don't know if that's really a milestone that most people celebrate, but it blows my mind to think that people have spent a million hours watching my channel, um, which I can't think of a bigger you know waste of time that I've inflicted on humanity, but I appreciate you guys nevertheless for you know watching me and for supporting me and all the love you guys show me in the comments. I really appreciate it. So makes makes the world to me. So as far as the reads go, I'm really only looking at two things. There's only two main plays. I only run these two plays, the top two plays. I don't really run the F lead read option too much, um, but it's a, it's an okay play. It's definitely okay if you have a fast quarterback like we have here. But ultimately, it's it's really between these two plays. And the reads that I'm going to make is I'm going to look for a gap. If I'm looking for this play here, I'm basically going to look if there's a gap right in front of where I'm going. And you can see there's not. The only other option is the triple option and this play here there's two reads to make the first read is i look at my tight end if my tight end is as long as there's no safety outside of the tight end or no cornerback or no linebacker too far outside the tight end i can run the triple option so that's going to be the read here i can also go the other way but typically i'm going to do the safe play which is going to be holding the a button and just trying to take this as wide as possible now you can see why i want speed at this running back spot so here's a look i could probably go with either one i mean the the linebacker is a little bit far outside of my tight end plus he's a superstar so that might deter me to go the other way Way, and you can see how we just have a huge lane. I already over pursued my blocker, but let's go to the replay because you saw how big that hole was, even though, like I said, Gus Edwards isn't that fast and I didn't really make a good run. This is something that it looks like there's not, you know, there's nothing going to be there, but for whatever reason, the way this play is designed, these two guys here typically just blow themselves up outside the play and take themselves around to the point where there's just a gaping hole. And if you see right here, for whatever reason, he didn't even really get a good block. Look at this hole. You know what I mean, like, this is how this play works. There's all always a massive hole there so basically i like i said i always pursued my blocker if i would have slowed down a little bit and led him to that safety i might have been able to have a, had a touchdown so here we have you know this is something where I, I probably could go either way you see the tight end is in a position where he could probably block that outside linebacker even though it's a little bit wide but ultimately i find that the best play is still this play it's most consistent i have my gap so i'm gonna go out, i'm gonna shoot for that gap and like i said you can see right here there's just nothing really there and i'm typically getting huge 10 plus yard gains 10 to 15 yard gains gains 
It's a really super simple play to run. And then when, you know, right here, that box is filled, you switch to the triple option. It's a really easy series of plays. If I didn't mention it, to hand it off to the triple option, you just have to hold the A button uh, and then, you know, basically just take it wide. So like I said, this is why you want your speed out here because if you don't have speed, you probably won't be able to get to the edge a lot of times. So without a doubt, two of the better runs. Here's a little bit of a different look here where the safety is outside the box. So that kind of eliminates the option of holding A and handing off to the fullback. Um, I could probably go right up the middle, but I'm going to try to force it a little bit because there is a third option. This is called the triple option. So you could easily easily uh, take it with the quarterback and then flip it out to the to the uh, the fullback slash running back on the other side so that there I hit the LB button to do that uh, but you can see you have a lot of opportunity for success even that play I think I got 10 plus yards so here we go once again really easy read tight ends caught up like I said sometimes you get caught for losses that can happen but ultimately it's gonna be a very consistent play uh, and you're gonna want to continue with that read here we go once again like I said I'm running towards a superstar I'm running towards JJ Watt might not be the best idea but it's still uh, the best play and like I said I mean I gave myself a tough defense to go against I gave myself the Steelers but I still find like I'm having a lot of success and this is still gonna be one of the best running formations in the game here's another look we have that gap Gap. that outside linebackers out kind of wide this is gonna be an easy opportunity to go inside right on top of them and maybe get you know there I was I kind of squeezed through try to get closer to the touchdown but you can see the blocking is insane so that's definitely my bread and butter when it comes to this offense uh, but I'm gonna go I'm gonna show a couple of pass plays because I know that that's gonna be something that people are gonna need so the first pass play would definitely be the PA crosser let's go and let's pick that on the defensive side we're just gonna go random three four the reason I'm going random is because you can really run uh, any, you know, this this has the ability to one play touchdown a couple plays, and I'll show that in a second. But if I motion this guy in, just the crossers alone will be enough to have success. As you can see, we're not really going to have too much issue uh, basically just crossing up man coverages, crossing up zone coverages. It doesn't really matter. We're going to have success. Um, you can do that for a large portion of success when it comes to these two plays. Just these two routes, you can really have a lot of success here. I don't know if they're sending a house blitz or what. There was nothing, <laughs> nothing covering there. Um, as the, as the tight end was just running free. I guess they sent the they sent the house. But like I said, you have a lot of pass coverage, which obviously, you know, is important. All pistol formations are similar to, as far as the depth of the quarterback, are very similar to shotguns. Like a lot of people like to pass out shotguns because they think that they have a lot of space and it keeps them from getting sacked. This is very similar in that regard. I also have two running backs that are blocking for me, which is super helpful because obviously they're going to pick up a lot of blitzers. So I don't really have a lot of concern that I'm ever going to get sacked in a formation like this, especially since I have... Um, you know, obviously I have uh, Lamar Jackson, which I could scramble out from. But you can see how you can just take those two routes over and over real easy. Now you can also motion this guy in, put him on a streak, and then put the B route on a drag. And you have a little bit of a high-low concept, uh, which basically, you know, you'll be able to get one of these guys open just about every time. So that's something you can do to mix it up. And then you'll have both of the routes going in the same direction. So either one of these setup, setups work. But I find I probably do this one the most. I probably do this just because I think that, you know, we're going to have more success as I have the A route and the B route here pretty much open on that play. So to me, that's a very sim a similar concept. I put out a lot of formations and it works here the same. Now, if you're going to run the F lead read option, this would be a play that I would suggest would be best whenever there's a formation where there's nothing over the center. There's something like a nickel formation, uh, something like uh, four threes would be really good, but against three fours, it's really not going to work out too great. So we're going to go over to pick random nickel. When it comes to these three plays, the, the F lead read option, I feel like it should be treated like a dive. Uh, you typically... You know, because it's the strong side, you might typically have a safety or a cornerback outside the box there. So that's going to lessen your opportunities to keep it with Lamar Jackson. I typically just treat it like a dive play. But you can see right there, every once in a while, you'll get, um, you know, nobody outside there. You want to hold it with Lamar Jackson to get a big play. So that's going to be something that, you know, right here, this is another opportunity. Just as long as this guy crashes down, uh, which he does there. I mean, you could, obviously you need a really good speed quarterback. But you can see how you can have a lot of success with this too. It's just really based off the reads. I mean, it's a really easy read to make. I mean, I find that, you know, I don't necessarily go by the read defender like they want you to. I make my own read. Uh, I don't think Madden's programming necessarily has it down. But you can see they're telling you to read this outside linebacker slash safety. I don't really think that's important. I'm reading the gap first. Uh, and then, like I said, that's kind of part of it. But I typically want to treat this like a dive. I don't typically want to run it with the quarterback. That's just how I like to run it. So here's one more opportunity. Like I said, that guy 
fights inside, and I get outside for a very big play. And it looks like I'm going to get a one-play touchdown with a quarterback run, uh, which I think is a perfect opportunity to end the video uh, because ultimately uh, that's the only touchdown run that I had. I'm not going to get a ton because I am going against one of the best defenses in the game. But if you guys want to see more plays from this formation or more plays from the Ravens, as always, do me a favor, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.